Justin! My shoes. Nancy told me this. Nancy told me the Whatever you guys are working on, you can purchase the one. Here we come. Joshua, come on up here. Hey, Justin, stay on this side, okay? Stay on this side. today to joyfully acknowledge the wedding of Joseph and Naomi. They have requested your presence on this memorable occasion in order that you might share with them this day of celebration and love. A strong union between a man and a woman can exist long before they ever speak their formal vows. When this type of bond to each other does exist, then the couple are already joined as one. Such is the case with Joseph and Naomi. They've already acknowledged their love and understanding for each other and are here today to be joined as husband and wife. Wow. To marry someone is to say to that person, I have chosen you above all others and I want to share all that life has to offer us the good times and the bad, for it is you that I love. Marriage is never being too old to hold hands. Marriage is remembering to say, I love you, at least once a day. Marriage is never going to sleep angry. Marriage is at no time taking the other for granted. Marriage is doing things for each other not in the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of love. 
Marriage is not looking for perfection in each other. It's about flexibility, patience, understanding, and a sense of humor. Marriage is having the capacity to forgive and forget. Marriage is not marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. Marriage is remaining best friends. The vows which you will speak today are meant to strengthen you both individually and as a couple. Do not be lost in each other's shadow, for you are still individuals, but individuals with the common love for each other. Joseph and Naomi, have you considered the importance of the step you're about to take, and are you willing to enter into this marriage contract and assume its duties and obligations? Joseph, will you take this woman to be your wedded wife, to live together, to love, comfort, honor, keep and cherish her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto her so long as you both shall live? Yes. Naomi, will you take this man to be your wedded husband, to live together, to love, comfort, honor, keep and cherish him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto him so long as you both shall live? Yes, I do. Receive and place the ring on each other's third finger of the left hand as a pledge and token of your wedded love. By this act of exchanging rings, you take upon yourselves the relationship of husband and wife, and as much as you have consented together, in matrimony, in the presence of these witnesses, I do, by the power and authority vested in me, by and in accordance with the laws of the province of Manitoba, pronounce you husband and wife. May you ever be inspired by that great love you hold for one another today, ever being true and faithful to the duties and obligations which today you have voluntarily assumed. May your marriage be blessed and filled with love, and that you live together in life everlasting. In today's busy lifestyle, may your home be one of peace and comfort. May your marriage be blessed with mutual respect and understanding, keeping in mind that your relationship will grow in accordance with the efforts made by each of you today. <laughs> The courtship should not end with the honeymoon, but continue all through the years, standing together and facing the world. You may seal your commitment with a kiss. Watch out, Papa! No, that was a legal kiss there. <laughs> Take pictures of the bride and the groom. Okay. Do you want to stand on the grass? Or?
Do you want to go in the grass over there? Or? Okay, well, we'll take one here. Yeah, I'll take one. This way by that tree. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Put your arm around her. Okay, quit fiddling around. I'm all for it. Take this. 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 Oh, oh yeah. Where's your cousin? Oh, that's That's my niece, that's Roby. That's my sister Diane's daughter. You look beautiful, Erica. Jump in there. These other ladies too. She does. Yeah. Did you show a picture of uh, who married him? Yeah, yeah. We <laughs> went through the house. We'll get you in there after these guys. Oh, that dog. They're kind of gory, but it's like, I don't know how to want to be. Oh, yeah. I can guess it later. Yeah, I will. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, a little bit of the red. Hmm? What they're wearing? Isn't that a little bit of the red? What they're wearing. Okay, no, no. Oh, yeah, okay. Barb and the girls, yeah. Yeah. Barb and the girls. It's dark. No, I sent this already. Ew. Why don't you just throw your shoes? I'm like this. Come on. Hurry up. Go, go, go. Go, go. Stay hot, don't you? Sure, hold it. Guys, open your eyes. I got my own. Really makes a pretty bite. Is it like a bannock? No, I just. Did you say bannock baloney? You want to make them pick up a bun? Well, no, I don't. I don't think she wanted to go to that Mexican restaurant there. She wanted to go to a Mexican restaurant there, Nancy. Oh, no, so what more made you do? That's okay though. I tried to make the lasagna last night, but the, it didn't happen. All my ingredients are to make a uh, No, so what made you do? Oh, okay. Too bad it wasn't Tuna Tuesday. <laughs> Here's Boston pizza, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
My little sister's married now. Yeah. <laughs> it's about that's, time. That's three of you got married, eh? Yeah, all three of us got married. Rose is got, next. Yeah, Rose is next. Yeah. You can say something, it's a, it's a, you know, it's a motion picture here. <laughs> Glad you got married, Naomi. Ah, oh, good for you, Joshi. So that's three in the family got married now, eh? Yeah. Joe, next. Nami, and Roxanne got married once, Vanessa. going for number two. <laughs> and Jibro's going for number one. <laughs>